Welcome to Word Practice 1. To get started, you'll open Microsoft Word and double click on blank document. Next, we'll show formatting marks by navigating to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and selecting the Show Hide icon. This is a toggle button. This means it is two modes, on and off. To turn it on, click it once. To turn it off, click it again. Next, we'll show the ruler by navigating to the View tab, Show Group, and selecting the Ruler checkbox. A checkbox is a type of input control. A checkbox's value is only included in the submitted data if the checkbox is currently checked. In other words, when the box is checked, the value is included. Navigate to the File tab to enter Backstage View. In Backstage View, select Save As, then click the Browse button. In the Save As dialog box, navigate to your flash drive, your Word folder, and in the Name field, type your last name, underscore your first name, underscore Word, underscore practice, underscore one as the file name, and then click Save. Type Volunteer Opportunity Available and press Enter twice. Next, type This Fall Paradise Valley Community College is offering a unique volunteer opportunity for Health Sciences students. Once you've typed all that, press the space bar. Navigate to the Insert tab text group and choose the object arrow. Then choose text from file. In the insert file dialog box, browse to your data files folder for Word. Select the file and click insert. The text will automatically update your document. Select all of the text in the document. On the Home tab, Font Group, ensure the font is Calibri and font size is 11. Select the title, Volunteer Opportunity Available, including the paragraph mark. On the Home tab, Font Group, select the arrow next to Text Effects and Topography. You'll apply the fill blue, accent color 5, outline white, background color 1, hard shadow blue, color 5, text effect. With the title still selected, change the font size to 36. On the Home tab, Paragraph Group, choose Center to align the title centered on the page. On the Home tab, Font Group, change the font color to blue, Accent 1 for the title. With the title still selected on the Home tab in the Font group, choose the arrow next to the Text Effect and Topography icon. Apply a shadow and under Inner, click Inside Right Text Effect. Position the insertion point at the beginning of the paragraph that begins with This Fall. On the Insert tab, Illustrations group, choose Pictures. Navigate to your flash drive, Word Chapter 1 folder, and choose the HS Picture underscore Word underscore Practice 1 image. Be sure the picture is selected and apply the Square Text Wrapping option. Using the sizing handle at the lower right hand corner of the picture, Drag up and to the left until the bottom of the graphic is aligned at approximately 3.5 inches on the vertical ruler. Click Undo to return the picture to its original size. The Undo icon is located in the Quick Access Toolbar in the upper left-hand corner. On the Picture Tools, Format tab, 
in the size group, change the shape width to 4 inches. On the Quick Access toolbar, click the Save icon. Then, compare your document to the example. Ensure the picture is still selected. Display the Layout dialog box by selecting the Layout Options shortcut menu, then choose See More. In the Layout dialog box for the picture, make sure the Position tab is selected. Set the horizontal alignment to left relative to margin. Set the vertical alignment to top relative to line. Select OK to close the dialog box. With the picture selected, on the Picture Tools Format tab, apply the Soft Edges 10 Point Picture Effect. With the picture selected, on the Picture Tools Format tab, in the Adjust group, choose the Artistic Effects arrow, apply the Pastels Smooth Artistic Effect. On the Design tab, in the Page Background group, Select Page Borders. Add a page border, selecting the Shadow Setting, Triple Line Style, Blue, Accent 1 Color, Whole Document. Position the Insertion Pointer at the blank paragraph below the title and press Enter four times. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, choose Shapes. Insert a rounded rectangle shape at the left margin at approximately 1.5 inches on the vertical ruler. Click once to insert a 1 inch by 1 inch rounded rectangle, or use the drag and drop feature. In the Drawing Tools Format tab in the Size group, change the Shape Height to 1.8 and the shape width to 6.4. Select the rectangle shape and type the following text. Italicize the text, change the font to Calibri, and increase the font size to 16. By clicking the Font Color button arrow, and under Theme Colors, click on Blue, Accent 5, Darker 50%. With the shape still selected, go to the Drawing Tools Format Toolbar, the Shape Styles group, select the arrow next to Shape Outline, and under Theme Colors, click on Blue, Accent 5, Darker 50%. Change the weight to 3 points. Compare your document to the example. Using the keyboard shortcut, Control, End, navigate to the end of your document. If your keyboard does not have these keys, click to put your insertion point after the period on Opportunity. Hit Enter three times. Your insertion point should be approximately at the 7-inch mark on the horizontal ruler. On the Insert tab, in the Text group, click the arrow next to Text Box Draw a text box by dragging down to create a text box that is approximately 1.5 inches high by 4.5 inches wide. Type the text into the box. Drag the text box until the horizontal green alignment guide displays above the first blank paragraph mark and the vertical green alignment guide displays on the center of the page. To be more precise, in the Layout dialog box, on the Position tab for the text box, set the horizontal alignment to Center relative to Margin. Set the vertical alignment by typing 0.75 in the Absolute position and selecting Below Paragraph. On the Size tab, type 1.5 in the Absolute Height box and 4.5 in the Absolute Width box. With the text box still selected, on the Drawing Tools Format tab in the Shape Styles group, 
apply the colored outline blue accent one shape style. Under Shape Effects, apply the Offset Center Outer Shadow Shape Effects to the text box. Select the text in the text box. Change the font size to 14 italics and center the text. Save your document and compare your document to the example. On the Insert tab, in the Header and Footer group, choose Edit Footer. On the Header and Footer Design Toolbar, in the Insert group, choose Document Info. Use Document Info to insert the file name in the footer. Select the File Name field. The file name should display in the lower right-hand footer of the document. Do not type it in, rather use the Document Info field. In Backstage View, click on Show All Properties and type the following. In the Tags box, type Trainee, Flyer, and Internship. In the Subject box, type your course name and section number. In the Author box, type your first name and your last name. Turn off formatting marks. As a reminder, formatting marks are on the Home tab, Paragraph Group. Take a moment to compare your document to the example and make any modification based on what you have learned. Zoom in to view the document in a larger size. Zoom is located in the lower right-hand corner of the Word window. Save again and ensure you have your file saved in a safe location. Take note of that location because you will need to find your file to upload it for grading. The last step is to submit the file for grading per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete Word Project 1. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.